Good morning and happy Tuesday 10 at 10. I am your host, Richard Charpentier, and we're here for another segment of Tuesday 10 at 10, where we answer questions for you, the bakers, by bakers. So uh, it's going to be short today. We don't have much, so we have one question. So that was coming from uh, the Bakerpedia website. Uh, somebody asking, uh, I make dinner rolls and use improvers, dough improvers, and calcium propionate, but my bread is still hard in a second and third day and gets moldy in a sixth day. Can you please help me out on how I do it properly to last for at least three weeks? So, you know, that's a question that we see a lot about shelf life, shelf life issues, and how do you increase your shelf life? And remember that that's a conversation that Dr. Lynn Carson has often talked about. All the steps, there's lots of great videos. You can go back and see how to do shelf life and shelf life extension. In order for you goals to have three week shelf life, it always starts with a good, clean bakery. How do you do that? Well, I would recommend have a good sanitation program that is followed by all the employees where everybody understands, okay, in order to have a good, clean bakery, those, you know, equipments needs to be changed because the mold are coming because they're everywhere in the air. It's part of you know, the air we breathe, the um, surfaces. So it's impossible to have a sterile environment where you don't have anything, you know, around you. We'll be living in a bubble. It's impossible. And when you think about it, we need yeast and bacteria to create fermentation. So uh, it starts with a good program. Make sure the employees are used to, you know, if you're packing, you're packaging your bread, you're taking the breads and putting in a bag, are they using gloves? or they touching by hands. So it's another thing. Uh, uh, and if your bread get basically stale after three or four days, you need fermentation, proper fermentation. Are you fermenting? Are you doing a really short fermentation? You know, because a lot of people will do a straight dough. They mix form into rolls and breads and then proof it and bake it. So the entire process to make a bread like that will be two hours at best, two to three hours at best. And if you have that, then your bread will stale faster. And that's why, you know, people who ferment longer will get longer shelf life. So calcium propionate is great, but to, to add, but what is the pH of your finished product? Because you don't know, you know, and you're using calcium propionate and it doesn't work. So it's when you deal with issues like that, it's always best for any bakeries, for any problems as a food scientist, a bakery scientist and a baker uh, to break it down. It's almost like taking an engine and taking all the parts of the engine and trying to put it back together because then you understand where are my problems coming from? Because to every problems, there is always a solution. But where is the problem coming from? Why, why are your breads getting stale rapidly? Why are you getting mold after six days? And now you're trying to get from basically a week, you're trying to basically triple your shelf life. And once you come to trying to triple your shelf life, you have to get to extended shelf life and do product development and having the support of understanding the science of why and what to do. So I hope I did answer your question. Uh, not, not, you know, not knowing all the details is very difficult, but this is this is what you know extended shelf life requires. It requires more time. It requires dedication and attention to details. You know, in bakery, I was always told, you know, it's a, it's all about time and temperature, attention to details, uh, and lots of you know. A, TLC, tender love and care to your products in order to, because the, you know, to reflect it's what you put in, that's what's going to come out, uh, you know, and, and it's all about the small details. 
And since it's short, we only had one question. So to all of you watching and to all of you supporting the bakery industry and supporting Bakerpedia, I wish you a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas and, uh, and a happy new year, even though we have one next week. Uh, and please, you know, keep on baking. It's a perfect time to be making Christmas cookies and, and all the goodies to be making around this time of the year. So thank you for watching uh, and keep on baking. And if you're not yet a member of, uh, if you have not joined the bakery community with Bakerpedia, please do so. It's free to join. It doesn't require credit cards or money or you to sign up for long-term thing. It's easy to join. Lots of valuable educational information. And Dr. Lynn is amazing with what she does and all the segments that she does uh, weekly. So uh, please join and uh, you take care. Thank you very much.